Hey folks, and welcome back to another episode of Old Car Guy. Today, we're talking about the five things I love about my square body truck, so stay tuned. Now, in the last episode of Old Car Guy, I introduced to you guys the five things that I hated about the truck. Let's take a quick recap of what those were. Of these big honking white mirrors. This tonneau cover. The gas filler on this truck being so low that I've got to either kneel down or squat down when I'm pumping gas in it. That it didn't come with any more features. Granted, it does have air conditioning. But why didn't it come with intermittent wipers? Number one is the stance. This is something that I've wanted to do to a square body truck for a long time. The fact that this is a long box, there's not many guys out there doing a long box, although there's a few, who are dropping, static dropping these trucks. A lot of guys are shortening the bed or they're doing short beds. I've gone ahead and done this with a long bed and I love the Beltec 4.6 drop with the C-notch in the back, uh, the flip kit and the four inch drop with the springs and spindles up front. Number two, the fact that this truck is a 77 and a Scottsdale does a couple of things for you. One is the bedside and the body moldings on this truck. Now you could get these on a lot of 70s style trucks, these uh, body moldings here, but in 77 it was the only year that you could get the ochre color or gold in the insert 77 again the only year so this truck has that complete trim package that is one thing that I really like about this truck and it also gives you the wheel well moldings number three the sport bumper in the back this truck likely would have normally come with a step bumper now be it painted or chrome I don't know I'm guessing it was probably painted white because the mirrors are white. It probably had white bumpers on the front and back. This has the sport bumper in the back. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing to it in the near future is I'm going to be tucking these bumpers closer to the body, which basically means we've got to channel out the brackets so that they fit a little closer to the body. And we're just going to smooth things up a little bit. Number four, the wheels. I wanted something that had a classic look to an old truck. Now granted, the Krager wheels are something that was common on a lot of vehicles back in the day. I chose to go with the American Racing Torque Thrust 2s. Again, gives you the classic Krager look with a modern twist. And number five has got to be this small block Chevy power plant. Now you guys all know, you can follow me back through all the videos of where we took the old motor out, we rebuilt, the small block Chevy, four bolt main, and we've kind of beefed it up a little bit with a cam, with uh, it's bored 60 over, and uh, we got new lifters, and we've got a new intake, and we went back and installed the uh, original Quadrajet carburetor. And yes, I have the air breather flipped upside down. Why? Well, those who know, know. And with the amount of power that this truck is making, there's a couple of little things that we've got to do to kind of fine tune the way it works. For instance, right now, I don't have first gear. Well, I don't have a manual first gear. I can't pull it down. Why? Because this truck was originally equipped with a TH350, and uh, when you pulled the gear selector down into low gear, well, you had first gear. Well, now it's got a 700R4, which means when you shift it down, it'll only shift down three notches. So that means it's going down into second. We've got an upcoming video that's gonna show you how you can get first gear on your gear selector on a 700R4 very very easily so we're going to be able to do that and that way if we want a little bit of extra power and draw that first gear out a little ways longer we're going to have it and i'm going to show you how to do it and also the fact that when i bought this truck i specifically wanted an ac or a factory ac truck and i got it and with the heat and the humidity the way it's been this summer i'm glad that i did because i get to daily drive this truck that ac comes in handy almost every day so I've decided you guys are gonna get a bonus number six reason why I absolutely love this truck. And it basically incorporates 
everything that's been done to it. At first, I was apprehensive about the color, but you know what? You don't see the color every day. So the color is growing on me, and this is another thing about square body trucks is that they had such a variety of color over the years. Usually, when you go somewhere, you just don't find another truck that looks like yours. With the static drop, with the wheels and tires, with the tinted windows, this thing has become everything that I had up in my head long before I ever bought it. And when we come to the interior, I've kept the interior clean. I've added a new carpet. I've added the OBS seat, which is the old body style for GM trucks. And it is more comfortable now than it was from the factory. And soon we will have a tilt column and cruise control. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the five reasons why, actually the six reasons why I love my square body truck just as much as you love the five reasons why I hate them. Having said all of that, guys, this is going to conclude this video. We've got lots more work to do on the old square body. There's going to be more videos on that. And we've got some other projects that we need to do some work to. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show is every Thursday evening at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern, and 9 Atlantic time. So if you guys like listening to guys talk about cars and be a part of the conversation by being in the chat, we host a live stream. And when I say we, I mean Grant Tommy, who is Straight Six Fan. I'll put his account right up here. And we alternate hosting the show every other week. So one week it'll be on my channel, next week it'll be on Grant's. We're just a bunch of car guys who love cars. We're talking about cars. We also have guests here on season four of the Car Guy and Six Fans show, so you never know who might be showing up to chat with us. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.